I think probably what it's what it's doing for these guys is it's showing that they've also got a good race car. Oh, Fisher off the top there. It's up by the gravel trap in turn 10 and 11. You see the flame licking out of the GDHO Falcon. Hopefully we can grab reverse here and just take off in between the gravel and the tyre walls. People are just to get out of there. But as long as he can get reverse, it's such an easy corner to overcook on the way in because the approach to it, you think it can go a lot deeper there than what you can, but it's also a very easy spot to grab an inside front. And I reckon if we can see a replay of it, I reckon you'll see he's come in there, maybe it's just a little bit too hot, lock the inside front. Let's have a look. So this is the approach across turn 10 and 11, and just got no, the rear out, didn't the it? Rear. Because it's a little bit downhill there, you sort of start to turn in, and if you don't wash enough speed off uh, on the on the initial approach, it's really easy, like what he's had there, to have the rear of the car come around. Or as I said, you can it's easier to lock the inside front there. You can see at the moment he's trying to sort of battle to keep it off the wall, but just runs out of road a little bit and just kisses the tyre barrier. From that point, he's going to hold on. That's those tyre barriers have just been added in the recent years. It used to be the earth barriers in the background there. We've had a couple of cars roll over the years. Should be in real time. Jesus Falcon. Probably saying what the sponsor suggests right now as he heads towards <laughs> that tyre wall. No damage. They're tough old cars. And he keeps on going here. Top four back in the pits with 55 seconds to go. There he is limping back into the lane, so he won't improve on that eighth position.